And then here's where we start getting to all the good ones. But here he is. As you Boy, do I have a great vlog for you guys today. We are hatching some orange snakes over here at AEP, and you guys already know that orange is one of my favorite colors, especially in cars, but to get it in snakes, man, it is amazing. All right, let's check out some orange snakes. So check this baby out right here. This right here is a black pastel ultra glow. I mean, what do you think, Josh? It's pretty orange? It's pretty orange to me. Again, black pastel ultra glow, so ultra mel and hypo two recessive genes on this bad boy and here's the same one the only difference is this has yellow belly and you can see the orange and the coloring on this thing is just a little more vibrant and man this thing is a beauty can't wait till she gets old enough to breed now now to me it really doesn't get any more orange than this right here we have a black pastel pinstripe ultra glow and look at her, man. I mean, dude, what do you think, man? That That's pretty orange, right? It's really nice. Yes, very vibrant and shiny. And you know, with showing off these orange snakes, we cannot leave this one out of it. Wherever it's at. <laughs> and she is going into shed, but I mean, look at this, man. Big shout out to Brian Cusco. Right here, we have a Cinnamon Inchy Sunset. And Josh, could you believe this is one of my most expensive snakes that I own here? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Brian Cusco, man, he he was balling right after this. That's this thing's amazing. sweet, right? It's really nice. And check out this beauty right here, Hypopied. I had to ask Josh if this was pretty orange because you know I'm a little colorblind. He's like, oh yeah, this is orange. But yeah, she is beautiful. Josh, do you want this one? This one looks really nice. You can have it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I have to pull these two girls out just because, I mean, they're some of my most popular females that I have over here at the house. But right here, we have a lavender pied, which is a dreamsicle. And right here, we have a lavender yellow belly pied. Again, yellow belly dreamsicle. And you can see the difference that the yellow belly does on these snakes. Beautiful, beautiful snakes. And how could I not show off my hold back right here? And look at this. Right here, we have a massive powerhouse. We have a leopard, inchy, orange dream, yellow belly, het pied. And this guy's almost up to size, man. He's going to be doing a lot of work over here. Josh, you ready for this? I'm 100% ready. Oh, look at the big dog strikes here. You know, he's here doing some work. All right, man, let's get going. actually doing some work right now you guys seen the mail before it's an orange dream yellow belly inchy gene x pied and he is currently breeding to a super chocolate and this right here is their last pairing And again, it's breeding to a super chocolate head pipe. So everything in there is gonna be chocolate. I can't wait to get some Orange Dream, Inchi, chocolate, yellow belly pipes. Dude, that is gonna be sick. Now let's get to that clutch. All right guys, so here's the clutch. And you guys can see we have seven eggs and the odds were really, really good with us. So let me show you this first one. This first one right here, as you can see, looks like a normal. 
And then here's where we start getting to all the good ones. So right here, for sure, this is an orange dream. Don't know what else is in it. Can't wait till it comes out of the egg. We have that one. Then we have this one right here. From what I could tell, this right here is an orange dream, yellow belly, and again, don't know what else until it comes out. Then we have this one. And again, you can see some orange. Right here, I would say orange dream, inchy, possible yellow belly. Only reason why is because I have a few of these already and the banding is very similar. And again, another orange snake. I would say orange dream, inchy, something, something. Orange dream again, something, something. And another orange snake. I'm telling you guys, uh, those are some great odds. From the looks of it, it looks like there's six orange snakes, one normal. Again, I'm learning on telling the genetics on each of these snakes. It's a lot easier when they come out in this shed, but from what I see so far, I see a lot of orange dream in here. I'll keep you guys updated on this as soon as they come out of the egg. So right here, we have a really good clutch. We have a banana, yellow belly bling, bred to a super gravel. So right here, we would definitely like to hit some highway bananas, but as you can see, she has a very, very nice looking clutch. We'll pull her out in a few. Now, if you guys wanna see what a bad clutch looks like, man, this is so disappointing. I was looking forward to this clutch so, so bad, and uh, just watch. And boom, she is not completely done, but as you guys could see, there is a lot of slugs in there. And all I could see is about two good eggs. But I honestly think the rest is gonna be slugs as well. And this right here is my pastel extreme gene bred to a sunset. She's also had sunset. So this was supposed to be my sunset clutch. So yeah, so that's the good and the bad about breeding ball pythons, but you gotta take it the way it comes, right? Now guys, since we're probably expecting a clutch a day here for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna get a lot of egg boxes ready for you guys because it seems like, like I said, they're laying every day. So we'd rather have everything ready and be prepared for them. All right guys, so what I do here is make sure I want to pull the tail out. Just kind of unwrap her away from the eggs. And again, always want to make sure she's completely empty and as you can see she is she is sucked dry right there and then to set her over here grab these eggs put them over here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine wow i thought she had eight eggs nine that's pretty good josh what do you think about this man it's pretty cool it's interesting it's do you want to um you want to start breeding? And guys, you guys always know, I always say this because a lot of people always start leaving me messages. We are going to do a full clean, wash her out, that we, that we can get her eating ASAP. Guys, check this out, man. I would have to say, these are probably the smallest eggs like we've ever seen over here at AEP. These little things are little, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to weigh them. So right here is kind of like a normal size egg. This right here is 78 grams. And then this little guy right here, I want to say it's around 50. Totally off, 63, not even that different. Huh, that was weird. You see that right there? Yeah. The little circle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. That's an embryo, so that's where I want them to be at, so. That's the Jurassic Park. <laughs> right, exactly, seriously. So we just candled them, and man, they all had some strong, strong veins, as you guys saw. So, you guys know I always do this. No sound effects this time. Pretty sure Josh will throw it in there. <laughs> and bam. All right, so now we, all we have to do is grab the turtle, get all our information, and then, you know, she always throws them up in there. Okay. And to 
today's date is the 6th. Okay, awesome. Okay, now we're ready. Hold on. One more step again. <laughs> Now it's really official. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Orange snakes, orange cars. And you guys know my 64 Impala is almost done. We'll do a full vlog on that one. And wait, 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 before I finish this vlog, we are gonna be doing a giveaway. That clutch I showed you guys with all the orange snakes, I'm gonna be giving away one of those snakes to wait on this on this vlog to one of you guys. All you have to do is comment down below, share this video, like, make sure you're already subscribed, and then we'll pick someone on the random comment picker in one week. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Josh, come in here real quick. Yeah, what's up? Josh, I want, dude, man, again, big thank you to you, man. You're doing a lot of awesome work, reading a lot of positive comments. Uh, make sure you guys go check him out again on his uh, Instagram. Instagram.com slash it's Josh A in the description. Yes, right, right down there. <laughs> all right, guys, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time. Peace. A lot of you people have been asking about little Lucifer and how he's doing. And actually, he's doing a lot better. Let me show you. He's not as violent as he used to be. Um, but here he is. As he Never mind. I swear he's actually been a lot better, but never mind. Um, let me see. Yeah. Uh, okay, never mind, guys. Oh, snap. Sorry about that. We'll leave you alone. Guys, I promise you, I was actually holding him the other day, and he was not even biting me. Uh, maybe it's Josh. Josh, do you want to grab him? No, I'm okay. All right. <laughs>